life life is a joke yeah that's how i can describe it it's a joke why are you saying life is a joke because when you try to answer the questions about life when you find answers you go back and find the questions have changed changed yeah wow that is barbara's comment how about, how about you abel how is life or well, this is a very big question for you guys but i know you've experienced you know you, you know how it is so you can tell me your point how do you see how is life <coughs> life is like a game yes yeah what's up guys welcome to today's channel today's an amazing day as you all know so yeah i'm here back at pepperland uh, thanks Julie for adding us two more dozens. So Julie added us uh, a couple of books, so I bought two more dozens. I've bought some fruits out there. So kindly guys, let's check out, let's check these books and as we head to the children's home, see you guys as we start the journey to go to the home. So stay locked and keep it up, keep it locked, keep it locked. So Winnie is finishing up that. People, imagine all these books are just twenty dollars all these books this is crazy uh, we need saying the economy is tough all right guys so let's pay as we head out to the home so guys we're now heading to the home this is rocio with me check her out at Ro Cabrera travel so she also came along with some stuff so yeah let's go guys and behind us is this other bike carrying the stuff we bought so let's go guys Arrived, guys. No boats. Where often orphans are being brought up here, they are being taken care of here. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it also serves as a rescue center, whereby, like Madame has been narrating it to you, it, 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 um, we also have children who are, who have been abandoned, children who have been uh, uh, found from maybe sea wages. They've been collected from latrines and, and that, that kind of stuff. We, we also have uh, another group whereby these are children that um, uh, came here because they've been uh, actually they've been mistreated in one way or the other. Some of them have been uh, impregnated, some of them have been raped and that, that kind of stuff. So we are here, our mama being the founder of the group. She's really been trying uh, inside the fact that uh, she has no donor, nobody to stand and support in terms of finance. 
But all along, she's been a very hard working and determined uh, lady. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see, like she told you, it has not taken one or two years. It has taken a number of years. Mm -hmm. I can show you how far, how far she has brought uh, this thing. You see, it's by God's grace, but again, it depends on the, the one who is now riding that bicycle or driving that car. Mm -hmm. Uh, like I may call it. So we are happy to receive you guys over here. We say thank you, feel welcome as you join our son, brother Kibe. We are so grateful. And I know, you know, I'm, as I speak, honestly, I'm not doing it on my own behalf. I'm doing it on everybody's behalf here, yeah. including the children. How I wish they, they, each one of them was to be given some, some chance to speak. I think they would have done it maybe much better than what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So we are grateful, feel welcome, and uh, at that particular juncture, I, I, I now uh, would like to, to, to let you guys come over. Uh, I, I want to call uh, to Asha in my, our brother, our son, Ibe to come, because he is uh, your, your team leader, like I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let him come. Uh, he'll talk right to our children at Plasasia. And all shall be well. Thank you. Thank you. How are you all? God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Wow, God is great. Wow, wow. That is really amazing. I'm very really happy to see you guys, you beautiful children. You all look very amazing. Can you clap for yourself? <laughs> so today, I've got this opportunity, at this chance, to come and see with you. Say hello. We can interact with one or two. I mean, interact with talk to one or two of you. to interact with, you interact with each one of you, so that I can be able to hear your stories, play with you. And then again, you see I brought a visitor with me. So you do the same thing, we just interact with you guys, uh, have some one or two talks. Yeah. And then again, uh, I know you're going to school uh, the coming week. So I brought with you some stationery, some books, some pens that you can use. Wow. Yeah. 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 That's so good. Yeah, we we'll get to know each other more and talk when we interact. Well, to tell you, for me, Anna, can't even tell you how to do that. Now, to tell you how to do that. So, me professionally, I'm a doctor. Maybe we can do a little bit of study. But as we said, this I brought you guys some diplomas. So, we do each and every one. Well, for Kano, I have a bottle. I have a bottle. I have a bottle. Which is some painkillers that you can keep so that you can use it around this place. And then some flu medications. Interacting as we continue this session. Right. So thank you so much for those, those who don't know me and Kibe. Yes. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now it is it is now your responsibility of your To welcome right. our right. visitors yes, and our right. brother there. All right. All right. Uh, okay, so I'd like to introduce my other guy over there. Yeah. Uh, what are you, Malik? Uh, my son, you are 
Do you allow us to take it that way? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You, it's, it's your pleasure. Thank you for allowing us. Sasa Yamani, ni kuwa na ibada, wimo, wabudu, ama wimo wa sifa kwanza, lafu wabudu, na kisha tuombe, kisha badai sasa. Hivi vene tunamogora hapa. Tutani na anisa. Sindu mana? Kwa hivyo wabunye. Naomba tuwasimame. Sangwe, 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 sangwe
wa high school kwanza wapate year 1 2 au wengine watapata hata 6 996 I mean around this place so yeah we brought them a lot of fruit we brought them a lot of stationaries as you can see they're really enjoying and they're amazing kids so kindly like the video subscribe to the video and it should be really really amazing so all the kids have been given books uh, we have remaining more remaining so okay keep it locked guys Guys, are we together? Yes. 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 Are we Rossi is telling the kids not to eat. <laughs> Rossi is trying to tell the kids not to eat the pencils. <laughs>
Small kids are being given books again. Great. Okay, so the senior kids are receiving geometrical sets. <laughs> Okay. So. Mm. Geometrical set. Uh -huh. One missed, but I think we'll just organize for that person. So what's up guys, we are at this amazing children's home as you all can see. So we don't want really to film the kids, so we let the kids first be and then uh, we'll continue. Okay, okay, uh, let me, let me, let me. So what's up guys, I'm telling you, as you all can see, I'm in this amazing children's home. This is the children's home that I was telling you guys about. It's a very amazing place. It's a very incredible place with amazing stories, amazing kids, amazing people around. As you all can see, I'll just show you an overview of this amazing place. So we really want to film with the kids around because it can be sensitive with them. So this is the amazing children's home. That's the main structure, the main administration probably. These are their washrooms, this is their church, this their bathroom where they shower where they do things and uh, these other parts but now uh, we'll follow the, 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 the pastor so that she can tell us more about the place you can hear about a little bit about the history so that you get to know what is happening around this place so kindly like this video guys watch this video up to, up to the end and uh, for me I let Rusky is engaging the pastor I told you the story but we just hear one or two things about it but I'll talk with a certain boy who can tell us some other stories about this place so that you can hear that but for now let me just show you around the place so yeah Keep it locked, guys. I'm here with Peter Church. Peter Church can give himself a shout out. Yes, this is the village driver over here. Yeah, we are at Noah's Boat Orphanage. Yeah, it's located here in Korea. Yeah, near Nyabohanse, but is uh, Isbania. Yeah, is the side of Isbania. We, we have visited here, guys, and uh, we have uh, our sister Rocio. He has brought. Uh, to the home here uh, some stuff with Kibe yeah so guys uh, thank you very much for your support every day we really appreciate you guys and uh, thank you for loving us for appreciating us uh, thank you so much happy new year yeah subscribe to our YouTube channel my name is village driver 
we have Rocio here and uh, it's uh, why not Kibe? Why not Kibe? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, that is it, guys. So we wanna catch up with them so that you can see around the story. So yeah, we we'll just have an overview. Uh, this is the overview of this place, but probably she still give us a full tour. So let's go and listen to one or two stories around. So in there, the kids have had a lot of fruits. They've brought them a lot of bananas. We brought them books. You can see this kid is having book, but I don't want to really film them. So yeah, you can see the the books the kid is having, and so many other uh, items. They've had their fruits. They've had. Uh, a lot of things, so they are really, really enjoying themselves. Uh, especially the stationaries, they've really had enough of the books. And if God really helps us, we'll still continue uh, giving them those books. So let's see what's popping around. Let's get a tour of the area and hear one or two stories of this place. So, exclusive story is on Rocio's channel. But for me, I'll just give you an overview and then we'll talk with the certain boy for more stories. So, kindly keep it locked. Some well wishers used to come and put for us like sugar. Okay. So okay. Um, some things that we cannot plant, yeah. they used to buy for us. Okay. And there are some groups used to come from the church yeah. and help us with the crops. Okay. And some mattresses and some blankets and some uh, uh, beds. Yeah. So it's like everything that I have yeah. is from well wishers. are really fighting. These are the mattresses they use around this place. This is what they used to sleep. These are their blankets. So more history will be on Rocio's channel. But I told you a rough story from the live I hosted yesterday. But uh, we'll just get a certain a different overview from uh, uh, their head boy. So I'll have a conversation with their head boy so that you guys can see. So this is the mattress they are sleeping with. You can see even the dogs are just enjoying the same mattress. Uh, the building is quite not a good, a, not a good size, but yeah, so guys, okay, just watch out, this is their farm, so I'll just give you a, a brief tour of what they are, they, are, they are showing, a brief tour of the place, and then a little brief history, we'll get it from the head boy, but the main history from the, from the mom, you'll get it from Rocio's channel, so kindly go check out at Ro Cabrera Travels, so see you as I continue showing the place so guys uh, this place uh, as the, the pastor has explained that is the solar house so in this place they don't use uh, power they don't have electricity so they use solar so they use solar and batteries that's the farm they are farming for them to get their food so that you can power the place again so yeah so she says she used to farm some chickens over here and yeah some of the place where they stay so yeah this is some of the places where they stay these are some of the structures around so let's follow them guys for the full exclusive story kindly check out on Rocio's channel and it will be amazing guys I'm here with Peter Church Peter Church is around Peter what do you think of this general song I can see her, this her mother Esther yes. is taking care caring of them. Yes. Yeah. The kids are smart. Yes. And uh, they live happily. Yes. Yeah. 
So guys, yeah, the kids are really clean. That is true, the kids are clean. So beautiful mom is really taking good care of them. But the, the real, uh, they have a challenge of they don't have any donors. Yes. Yeah, they are struggling themselves. Yes. I think this mom is uh, the best lady. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Around. Yeah. So guys, yes. So yeah, that is, that is it, guys. Okay, I'll just I'll look for the boy to give us an exclusive tour. So let's first join in that and then I will meet up. So guys, uh, welcome back. And here with me, I've got the head boy of this place, the like the the the, the eldest of the people around, or rather the children around. So he's the eldest. He'll tell us about how old he is. He'll tell us their life here, and just show us one or two places around. So. Let's go. Uh, my name is Abel Mahaberayon. I'm the oldest boy and I'm a need boy here. So, it's a finest time which you have granted, which God has granted unto us, as to meet here. Uh, I'm already done in Form 4. I, yeah. I hope that next year i will join in in university then i will come back to here because from the beginning we have suffered a lot so maybe i will help my mom and those other kids because i love them like my brothers yeah because what i know i don't have i don't have brothers in spiritual but i have those biological brothers so I I was living there. I was I'm living with them. Yeah. So you're saying your name is Abel. Yeah. So Abel, if I, I may ask you, when, when when did you come first come to this home? From two seven. From two thousand and seven. Yeah. How old were you, Abel? I'm nineteen years. You're now nineteen years. Yeah. But when you joined this children's home, how old were you? I can't scrutinize myself because I was no. You didn't know. Yeah. Okay, so let's say you're 19 years now. Yeah. So 2007, that is uh, 15 years back. Yeah. 16 years back. Yeah. So 16, you were like three years. You were like three years old when you're coming here. Yeah. You're still a very young kid. Yeah. Oh wow. So yeah, you can go around as you tell us how how life is, but just just tell us how life is here in general. Tell us how you guys, since you came, how has life been since you came up to now? Okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, since you came here, you have helped us a lot. Uh, because even we, <coughs> we were not having any plan to have books. You like, it's a, let me say that you are my brother. You have helped us books. And, and let, let, let me say thank you for that because it's God's will you to come here to help us. Yeah. Alright. Uh, when, when I remember when I was coming here, yeah. the life is not it's, it was difficult because we were not having any shelter, so we were sleep we, we were slept on inside the sacks. Okay, you were sleeping inside the sacks. Yeah, and we were my mom here, Mom Esther. She was trying to help us food from their friends. Um, Can you just sit somewhere? Continue, yes. Can you sit there? You sit down. Yeah. yeah sit down for the tell you. So, for that reason, because we were not having any place to go, so we were, we were living, but because we were trusted in God, we were trusting in God that one day we will be somewhere. Like me, I was I, I was not believing that one day 
I will <coughs> I will done my form four and then to continue forward. But because of God's will, now, now, you have done form four. You I'm finished. done form. I'm not in form four. I'm just waiting for the result. Yes. Yeah. So you did form four and you're waiting for the results now. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying uh, when you came here, you're staying in sack. You're sleeping in sacks. Yeah. Uh huh. And then who helped you until you got maybe beds, mattress? Ah, uh, Mam Esther still. Mam Esther. Yes. She was. Uh, she was trying to. To talk with these with his, with his friends. Yes. At least to help us. Yes. So. She. <coughs> she. She was coming from with the, his friend to yes. help us. Yes. He was trying to garbage them. Yes. At least to to help us and anything which they. They can. Yes. So from there, we were. She. She was. She was having a. A sponsor. Yes. Was who, who his name was called Lavis? Lavis. Avis. Avis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was coming from America. Yes, from America. Yeah. So that that's how she was a woman. Yes. So she was coming and help us. Yeah. Okay. Matrices and. Yes. How are you? Uh -huh. Yes. Come. Come, come sit. So, guys, I've been joined by, uh, I can say, the eldest girl around. Yeah. So, I can say she's the head girl. So, we have the head boy here, Abel, and we have the head girl. So, first, you can introduce yourself. I'm Barbara Grace. I'm 17 years old. I'm now going to join Form 4 next year. My dream, my ambition, my vision, all that is to be a doctor and partly a fashion designer. Okay. So I would like you to to give me some motivation on how I will achieve what I want. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that is really interesting, guys. You see, that is Barbara. You said you're Barbara. Yeah. So Barbara is 17 years old. So maybe Barbara, you can tell us your case. When you, when did you first come here? Because Abel says he came he came here in the year 2007 when he was three years old. When did you come to uh, North Boat General Song? Mm. The director of North Boat Children's Home is my mother. No. Oh wow! The director of Children's North Children's Home is your mother. Yeah. Wow, that is really amazing. So you've been here for how long? Since I was born. Since you were born. You were born here, this is your home, this is everything. In this family, but we have, we have been living in Kisi for quite so long. Yeah. Then we migrated to Korea land. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I was telling Abel that you guys you really have a good opportunity. And uh, so today I want to open you guys a YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that you guys can always be expressing yourselves. You can sh be showing every, everything that you do every day and put them on YouTube yeah. so that people can see what you do. So th those who want to help you will help you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And it's a very, very interesting thing. So when I have the two of you, I know you, you are able to communicate in English and you at least you are learned up to the high school level, right? Yeah. So I'll see that and then we'll organize for that. I'll show you guys how to upload a video, how to do those things. And then, for, of course, I'll keep in touch with you guys. For you, of course, I'll keep in touch so that I can help you whatever you want in terms of your profession what you want we'll do that for you yeah. okay so maybe you can ask uh, boom so no um, no I mean um, Abel right um, so what's your, what's your dream what's your ambition Abel? <coughs> to be a neurosurgery doctor yeah. wow you want to be a neurosurgeon neurosurgeon a neurosurgery doctor yeah. wow. that's a very big dream guys Kindly, let's support Abel, let's support Barbara, let's support Noah's children's home. You all can see uh, they really need our support, of course. Uh, there are a lot of kids and uh, they don't really have that, most of them don't have that opportunity to get into some certain, they don't give that, those much opportunities probably because of a lot of conditions and factors. So guys, you can really, really appreciate if you can support them in any way. Support them psychologically, support them emotionally, support them 
financially, in any way. But most important thing is that we need to see all these kids around this place successful. They be whoever they want to be. We've had a moment with them. We've really had some discussions with them. And we're still going to have more discussions with them. Uh, me, I think I'll be part of you guys. Me, I'll be part of you guys. I'll be going to do my things. But after a while, I'll be coming to visit you guys and just check on you and see how you're doing. Okay? So, Barbara, mm, mm, how's, how's life in general? Life. Life is a joke. Yeah, that's how I can describe it. It's a joke. Why are you saying life is a joke? Because when you try to answer the questions about life, when you find answers, you go back and find the questions have changed. Changed, Yeah. Wow, that is Barbara's comment. How about, how about you, Abel? How is life? Well, this is a very big question for you guys. But I know you've experienced, you know you, you know how it is. So you can tell me your point. How do you see? How is life? <coughs> life is like a game. Yes. Yeah, because when you, <coughs> when you when you go forward without the, without any reason or plans, yeah. maybe you can fail in somewhere. Yeah. So you, you must have a plan first, yeah. then you begin it or you <coughs> look forward for your mistakes yes. and rebate. Okay. Yeah. That's Abel's uh, view. So I don't know, what, what do you have to say? Can you say anything? You can tell anything to the people. I don't know whether I've missed some questions, but well, let me ask, what are some of the challenges that maybe you face around here, uh, Barbara? In this orphanage, yeah. um, some problems are like food, clothing, school fees, school items. Yeah. What are the main, of main challenges that you face around here? You have no enough food. Yeah. So also me coming here, I was coming to check on your health. So I think before we leave, I love to ask who has a health problem so that I can see what I, what, adre- what I can address and what I cannot address. But I need, after I leave here, I need to ensure that health-wise, you guys are doing okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so, so those are some of the challenges that you face around this place. Yes. And on your side, what do you think? Uh, do you share the same challenges? Probably, yes. But maybe you have another different opinion. No, the problem is the same. The problems are the same. Yeah. So what would you like people to help you? At least the food. Yes. And we don't have enough shelter. Mm-hmm. So maybe you can help me. You, you can help us mm-hmm. where you can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow, guys. I, I'm not the one who's saying this. They're the ones who are saying this. So if you guys feel like you can support them in any way, we can really, really be grateful. This is Abel, the head boy of this uh, uh, place, and this is uh, Barbara, the head girl, or the daughter to Pastor Esther, who's the mother around this place. So, I don't know, guys. This is very, very, uh, very, very inspirational. I don't know. It can be very, whatever way you wish to take it, but this is the situation that we have around, and we really, really appreciate if one or two of you guys support them in any way. Of course, I'm the, I'll be the first one, me, Rocio, and the people who come here will be the first people to come here. I mean, we'll be the first people to help them and save them, do whatever you can, they can, we can do to help the situation around. For me, I think, like, me, I want to see everybody of you is successful. And I won't, I won't let you all... I'm sure after every three months I'll be coming to visit you guys just to see how you're doing and just to ensure that I keep in track with you guys and to ensure that you're all happy because I want you all to be happy and achieve what you want, okay? Yes. So maybe you can tell us maybe your f- final words as maybe you take around and show, us, show me around. So what's your final words, Abab? Brother, what can you tell people? Okay, thank you to the subscribers yes. for listening to us and watching the videos. May God bless them. But if someone is able to find some money, can help our mother to pay for us the school fees and the school items. Most probably 
the school fees and the school items leave apart food and clothing yeah the main things are the school fees of course and the school items yeah. because those are some of the most expensive things and the kids are so many you see and education is what they really need so for me i think for my part i'll be trying that i'll be trying in to ensure that maybe if i'm not around i can be sending that guy I at least see if I can provide you with books every month. I see if I can provide you with dust stationaries. And then for the school fees thing, we'll just be seeing how much we'll be contributing, maybe with my people, maybe with subscribers, but we'll see what we'll be able to give a mom. But for me, I'll, I'll really wish to commit myself to maybe bringing you guys books every month and stationaries. Because as I grow, if God really helps me in the future, I might really come and do something great for you guys, probably next year or something. So I really wish for that. So that's your humble request, right? Yeah. All right. And for you, Mr. Uh, Abel. <coughs> uh, at my own side, yes. we will pray for yours yes. to have uh, to have an opportunity to help us, yes. and God will open for you as a new picture of, of your lives. Yes. Then you will. You will be able to come here, yes. and also we are we are welcoming you. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. So I don't know. Is there any other thing you wish to say before you take around? We'll just think about it. We can start. You take you, you two of you. Just take me and show me how you, your normal life is, or what you usually do around as we end the video. Is that okay. This is Abel. Abel. And are you happy? Are you happy where you are right now? I am happy. You are very happy, right? Yeah. Yes, it is very important for you to be happy. For you to be happy and be grateful for where you are so far. Yeah. You should be grateful because I am sure a lot of people don't get this opportunity that you are having. Sure really? A lot of people are still suffering out there. They have no place to stay. They have no shelter. They cannot even get food at all. Or maybe they, they depend on themselves to get food. So at least for you guys, you can say, at least you have a home. You have someone taking care of you guys. You have someone who is trying to ensure that you eat every day, right? Yeah. You have clothes, you know. So we should really, really appreciate that. And just celebrate life and be happy. But remember to work hard. For yourself because now you're becoming bigger yeah you need to work hard do not do not be tempted with those things do not go and take drugs now out there so you know can you be are you using any drugs no yes no you can see now where you've come from you will not like to you will not like to let your life down right yeah. so you will you should not engage in things like drug abuse you should not get yourself into bad companies because now those are now the beginning of destruction okay yeah yes so I'd like to tell the same to uh, Barbara. Barbara, yes. you know now you're growing up, okay? Yeah. You're becoming old, uh, you're growing older every day. Yeah. So I will want you to be successful, right? Yes. So I will want, I'll really urge you that you don't get inter interacted, or rather inter, don't get inter interfered, or rather do not get do not get yourself into crazy things like drug abuse. You don't get yourself into do not associate with yourself with certain groups of people you see yeah. the bad influence so that they let you go somewhere else so me i want you to focus on what you want because you're now growing up you see yeah. i want you to really focus on what you want but for now there's nothing much it's only education because i can't, you can't say you're studying business okay yeah. so i want you to have very that very very good focus on education and what you want to be in future avoid these distractions Avoid these boys and the boys things for now. Maybe you can, maybe if you're comfortable, but sometimes they distract, okay? Yep. And it will distract your vision and what you want to be in future. So really avoid those distractions. Do not, do you use any drug? No. Yeah, so do not tempt yourself to go there for you to be able to be in the right position to be successful, okay? Yeah. All right, so you can kindly show me around you, the both of you can show me around and as we get to see what is happening around, right? So where will you guys want us to start with? Start from here, we go this way. Yes. Just show me around, okay? Yeah. All right, we go. All right, so guys, uh, uh, you can see Barbara here and uh, Abel here. Let's take around. They show me. They show us around the home so that we see. So that also you guys can see 
what is around, what is available around this place, how they are staying, their way of living, and everything. If you want to support them in any way, I'll put, I'll put the number, I'll put this number. There's a number on that board. I'll put that number for Pastor Esther on my description box. So if you guys want to reach out to Pastor Esther directly, you can call her directly. Or you can get to me and then I can get to them. But I'll put the number there so that you can reach her directly and you guys can have a communication. So let's start from here. So what is this? Uh, maybe you can explain, Barbara. Show me. This is a portion. Yeah. So this portion, I was told that it doesn't work. Is it true? It doesn't work. Okay, why? It needs to be repaired. Okay. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, when was the last time you used this portion me lab? I think when I was in Form 2. In Form 2? That's yeah. more than two years ago. Yeah. Wow. All right. So that is the portion mill, guys. So let's, uh, let's head on to the next place. This is your... I was told by your mom that this long time ago, this is where you used to stay. Yeah. The boys used to stay here. The boys used to stay here. Okay. Yeah. So you used to stay here, Mr. Abel? Yeah. Which was your room? It was there. This one? Yeah, but for now, yes. I'm staying somewhere. So right now, who stays around this place? <laughs> nobody. So nobody stays around this place now. Okay. So be, um, you're saying you want to be a neuro, you want to be a doctor? Yeah. And you want to be a neurosurgeon? Yeah. Oh, wow. These are uh, washrooms. Yeah. All right. All right. So these are some of the other places where you stay. Yeah. All right. There's some of the kids around this place. Abarian. All right. Uh huh. So. Show us this is a kitchen for you guys or the staff first around this place. Yeah. For the staff. Yeah. So I think this these houses are for the staff, right? Yeah. Alright. And this is where they cook. Okay. This is your gazebo where you guys chill. For the boys. For the boys. Yeah. The boys. Just around there. The other side. Yeah. Right. So this is your where you should let you relax and chill. Yeah. Okay. This is where Abel Shikamu Abari. Okay. So this is where Abel and the boys, other boys stay. So those are some of your rooms. Yeah. Can you go check them? <coughs> we can because they've already checked them. You are not comfortable. Yeah. You're not comfortable. All right, yeah. you can. You you can go. All right. Let's just go show them so that they know the reality. Yeah. If you don't have a mattress, they, someone can buy you a mattress, right? Yeah. yeah. Something like that. You just need to be real. So I, I'm telling you guys, I want to open you guys a YouTube channel. So in this, in this YouTube channel, just be open. Just show people how life is. Do not fake anything. Do not hide anything. Just be honest, okay? Yeah. All right. So where do you want us to start? Yeah. Here. Well, you can start just from here. This is another room for the boys. Yeah. So this is where the boys stay. Oh, wow. This is where you stay? How many boys stay here? Four. Yeah. Okay, four boys. Yeah. All right. And there's another room for the boys. Yeah. Hey, boys are boys. <laughs> okay, there's another room. There's another room for the boys. Mm -hmm. And there's the other room for the boys. Hey, this is clean. This is for the big boys. Huh? <laughs> so the, the others need to do something. Okay, and that's another room can see wow this is another room guys okay and uh, this is your this is your store oh dirty clothes this is where you put dirty clothes okay this is where you get your water this is a church yeah this is a church huh okay this one is your uh, toilets. All right. But this church yes. is where we used to stay before, before mom built the mansion. Yes. In the year 2018 yes. to 2020, yes. then we got to, the we started house. living the in the big house. Yes. 
I think it was in 2022. Okay. Yeah. So that is it, guys. This is where you get your water. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, this is the overview of the compound around this place. You can see. So, you guys, which, which activities do you do? Do you play football around this place? Yeah. Okay. So, you just play it here. Yes. We do our games up there. Oh, so, yeah. boys, boys play here, girls play up there. The other side, yeah. All right. So guys, as you can see, this is it. So this is the hall of the church. Yeah. Okay. So this is Noah's. Welcome to Noah's. Welcome to Noah's Boat Children's Home. You will receive spiritual strength to move on in Jesus' name. Out of services. Thank you very much. That is a church or hall. That's where you can always eat. This is the place you can also. You can. It's only a church. Oh, classes for the young children. Okay. So, uh, are you, are you, do you think you'll be able to manage the YouTube channel if I open it for you today? Yeah. You'll be able to do that? I have that passion. You have that passion? Yeah. Wow, that will be really amazing. Even you, do you think you'll be able to manage? Yes. Oh, well. Guys, we'll open them a YouTube channel today. And I think we'll call the YouTube channel uh, um, Noah's Boat Children's Home. So, kindly, guys, if you can support them, let's get them today to... Within this week, let's get them 1,000 subscribers so that they can always be putting their videos so that they get monetized. Do you know that you can get money from YouTube? Yeah. Yes. So, yes, we'll give you, we'll try and push that you get 1,000 subscribers. So that, you know, for you to get money from YouTube, you have to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. But subscribers is the hard thing. So, we'll ensure that we give you that, okay? Yeah. All right. And you, okay? Yeah. All right. So, where else do you think you want to show me? Oh. Okay. Visit us. Okay. For gents, for but gents. visit us. Okay. All right. This is for the visitors. Oh, okay. okay. I, I, I'm talking to them and they're telling me they really have big dreams. Is, a, is the head boy who wants to be a neurosurgeon? Neurosurgeon. And she she wants to be he had uh, a kidney failure. Mm -hmm. Do you know what's that? A what? Kidney failure. Kidney failure. Kidney failure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I used to go to hospital like um, after three months, four months. Yeah. I donated my blood nine times for wow. him. Wow. He was almost to die. But I ask God, don't let anybody to die in this Noah's Ark. Yeah, it's yeah. your home. Yeah. And God hear my cry. And now uh, yeah. he finished the school yeah. just yeah. end of last year. Yeah. And I'm very, very proud of him. Yeah. He's like a big boy here. Yeah. And he's very busy to help me. Yeah. Even when I was very sick, then he was the one carrying me to... He's back, yeah. took me from up there, down here, and then from here, up there. Yeah. And he's very busy always in the garden, outside here, take care of the animals, mm -hmm. to the big boys, and yeah. to control some words outside and inside. Yeah. That's how we live here. Well, yeah. well. He's a very special boy to me. Well. And this is my daughter. Okay. Yeah. She's going to fall. She's the one helping me to raise the girls yes. every morning before they go to school. Every work that they are doing inside here, yeah. he's the one helping me to read. And because I don't know how to write English, yeah. she's the one writing for me. I'm telling them, Rocio, that we can open them a YouTube channel uh -huh. so that they can, she, 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 her and him yeah. can yeah. can be managing it. Yeah. So you open just the channel and then we'll show you how to maybe upload and then. The rest will gamble. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So that will be a good idea. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you for that big love. Yeah. This is a big heart yeah. and it's a miracle day yeah. to me yeah. to show you again and meet you with the visitors. Yeah. Even my kids today, they are very happy. Yes. I appreciate so much. May God bless you and, and you more and more and expand you. 
to go far. Yes. Thank, Thank you so much. So much. Mm -hmm. and this is not the end, we'll still be coming here. Yeah. I'll, for me, I'll, I'm sure I want to take a responsibility here. Yeah. I want to be at least after every certain time, I come and visit you guys and see how you're doing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I can see also if I can be able to at least give, bring something, at every, send something, maybe books every month, I can try my best and do that so that I can see you guys yeah. continue to be well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because I'm really inspired by the, what you're doing and your stories are really... You told me your story the other day and it was really yeah. emotional. I'm sure you have heard the story. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, I could not be here. Yeah. There were some people poisoned me. Yeah. And I was like, I'm dying. Wow. But for two years, I was not walking. Wow. This guy used to carry me. Yeah. yeah he used to carry me outside, inside. This girl used to wash my body. I thank God that I'm alive. For sure. Yeah. For sure. You deserve to be alive. Yeah. Yeah. I thank God. Yeah. Yeah. You're carrying all this. You're the mother of a very big family. Yeah. You deserve to really, really yeah. be great. Um, that's, why, that's why I always say that life is a gift yeah. and love is a fruit. So I thank God for the gift of life, for keeping my mom alive and each and everyone in this compound, and you too, and our subscribers. Guys, that's the ending of my. So, guys, as we, I finished the video, this is the old kitchen. As you can see, the beautiful girl over there is preparing something. Mambo, wow. say my hi. Hi. Yes, that is the beautiful kitchen over there. Uh, this is now the modern kitchen. This is the modern kitchen. They've already served supper, that is ugali and some vegetables, of course the traditional fireplace. So this is the modern kitchen. And guys, this is another place, you can see it's a madhouse. I was told that this place is where they just chill and rest. Mambo, say hello. Hello. Say how are you? How are you? Are you fine? Yes. Uh, good, what's your name? Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Elias Kikwech. Elias Kikwech? Yeah. Chamge Elias? Chamge. Kakono? Ka? Eh. Kako. Kako Kiricho. Kiricho? Yeah. Ah, go. good, good, good. Uh, okay, where's the scale? Ah, it's the, the other pastor. Okay. Yeah. Balance the ball. 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 Automatically. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> like yeah. All right. Bye.